Hello. So, ladies and gentlemen, as we have started our journey today, I would like to invite you to a little aside journey. The journey into the land of business analysis. And now, please, follow me to the step one. Our first station is automotive factory. Analysts in the start of the career. So whatever you can imagine about analyst role, and you are stepping into that, you are ready to do whatever is possible. And you would never imagine that those tasks are about analyst role as well. So see, CAD application for the details uh, of the machines, robots, gas installation, uh, even financial indicators in Korean. Wow, how to deal with that? Is it really what you expected to have as an analyst? Add to that the sign-off of the one of the biggest contracts just for is installing the factory. And I asked myself the question, is it really this? And I decided to make the step forward and to see what else can we have as an analyst? Well, as you know, stations matter, but this time the road, how to get to the station matter even better. So I had a kind of background of informatics, a big background of the mathematics. And I just started the test to get to the financial world. I thought that it might be very interesting, just changing totally your way and see the, the same story from the different angle. And you know, the first day at my job, I just came in full of enthusiastic uh, mood. And what I see? I see the black screen with a lot of different lines. And I ask, uh, Soren, what is that? And what I've heard was, that is your job. Okay. So it's not that I totally didn't understand what is that. But, you know, still there's a little question and this is the analyst role. This is what I'm supposed to do, really. You know, that was kind of test for myself to start thinking about this very consciously. And I think that, um, you know, that is a good understanding to, um, to, to move forward and to, you know, to grip yourself from the you know, this uncertainty, which, uh, which we were listening today about. So it's all about uncertainty. I was uncertain very much, but I've never stopped there. So I wasn't that, you know, statistically person uh, saying that, okay, now I will get back and wait. I didn't wait. I moved forward. And I moved forward to, to the next level. So you see, logic I've already used, right? A, my kind of background I've never used before. So I thought, okay, so let's try myself in there. And I went to the next station. So please bear with me, investment banking. Well, that is interesting because knowing statistics, knowing mathematics, I was able to get into business analyst role not just a simple analyst. And I thought, what might be the difference? It's not that bad. Wow, I wasn't, I wasn't, uh, I wasn't very much mistaken saying that it is a big difference. As DLC processes and um, gathering requirements, a lot of methodologies for that, and all that is actually about business analyst role. And again, I start thinking, is it really this? And I investigated. A couple of topics here. Let's see the soft skills. 
So during the whole my way, I was totally into the communication with the people that helped me in variety of different situations, that helped me so much that I thought that that will be something that will help me a lot. And that was true. Imagine the floor, one of those trading floors, but totally different one. Very quiet, very mathematical. There are people who are actually building mathematical models. They are sitting there, they are thinking, and they are totally not communicative. And imagine me, such a business analyst, totally new in the company, and I found this failure in mathematical model. How to tell about that? How to try to find this trigger to that person to even mention this, even start a small discussion? I did it. It took me about three face-to-face -face meetings. First was very tough, then easier and easier, unless we come up with a common background. You know, it's usually taking a bit of time. And can you imagine the surprise of the whole floor when the guy suddenly, when I said, okay, so today is my last day in the uh, in UK office, so... Just maybe see you next time. And he stood up and just did this. You know, the whole floor was just incredibly surprised. Me too, by the way. <laughs> um, but that is the only one part of that. Uh, we heard today that waterfall, waterfall was just the only thing that that is fantastic. You know what? After years, I should say that a lot of people still think the same. It's, 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 it doesn't change so much and it's not changing because of one small thing I tell you. So imagine that you are changing this waterfall just for small interactions, not the quarter one, but for example, three weeks. We did in one of the projects and actually that worked. So it's not about the methodology, which, which is crap. It's about the mindset we have inside and the goal of the project. Because we started the Agile project quite recently, a couple of years ago. And, you know, the main goal of that was actually documenting all of the things we're building in there. So features matter a lot. And in that case, imagine that you have it totally agile. You have a documented in Jira, separate tasks. You have a Scrum Master. We had a very fruitful discussion yesterday about Scrum Mastering and, you know, those fancy advertising that you can become Scrum Master during the weekend. And you are just fantastic Scrum Master. It doesn't work like that because Scrum Master is doing a lot of work, real work, should do. If does, that's the question. And now I had an example when Agile didn't work at all because we had to build the separate, the separate um, place where to put all the documentation because, you know, still after years of experience, I see all the time the same problem. Documentation is a total mess. But that is a clue. We are actually, we are missing a lot of time when trying to understand what is going on in the application, how to, how to deal with the different features. And most of all, what I've noticed, that our clients are not using most of those features because they, they just don't know about it. That is easy. I will give you another example about usage of the Confluence and you know, that is the simplest tool. It's not that I'm a fan of it, right? But that is something that is available almost everywhere. So imagine you have a global team working from different locations. The most popular are usually India, Poland, UK, and the US. And now imagine you have a business in the US. Those business guys which are really, you know, tough to learn about new things, methodologies, and so on. They're just 
very focused on, on the business and deals and benefits and those stuff. And now we need to talk and we have a big difference of, uh, uh, of time. So time zones matters. And now this simple tool made us possible to make this project smoothly. And, you know, those projects are all about the, you know, mm, requirements, about the things we, we as IT think that is right to the people from business. And they usually would think that they know how to do that. And they would like to say IT how they would like that thing to be done. And, you know, it's fantastic if we can compile both of that. And that is our idea of the whole story. We would like to have that working together, business and IT with the same goal. But is this always true? That is a very simple BPM and schema. I just take it to, to, give, you a, to give you an example for here is only a couple of gateways, you know, excluded, uh, common, whatever. There are a couple of things you can check in the internet even, and you can read it. That is easy. But what usually business analysts tend to do if they are very fan of the methodology, uh, methodology and not the real goal they want to achieve? It's coming to something like that. So more icons, more information. So, you know, if you don't know that that is about the scripting, you never understand it. And if you don't know that that one is manually uh, put at inputs, you never know what is that all about. And the real question is, wouldn't be that enough? Just simply as this. What is the real goal of all that? What we want to achieve? What is a real role of business analyst? Is it a gateway between IT and business? That is not fancy anymore because we don't have business analysts officially in the agile structure. And you know, when I was um, mentoring one of the, um, one of the young uh, ladies, she asked me this simple question. Tell me, please, what your role is really about. And, you know, it's not about saying the examples of uh, projects I've done. I, I needed to make it that simple that she really understood if that is the path, uh, that is the way she wants to follow. And I reminded myself when I was at school, I did I know uh, I know nothing about analytical thinking about business analysts that even didn't exist that time. But what I was doing to my grandma, I was writing her such things. That is a simple instruction of how to use the microwave. Simple as that. So. You need to understand if that was in the soccer or not, right? The next one, usually what is frightening, that you have those binging zeros on the screen and you don't know what to do. Usually you, you, you want to do something about that. But do you really need, here is the instruction that if you just want to use for 30 seconds, for one minute, and you're okay with that, ignore, ignore. And then... Very simply, you are just, you know, you exactly explaining what should be done to pull the lead on that, right? You can even include if that is a liquid, you shouldn't do that, right? Don't bother. If that is not, just do that. Because otherwise, without those simple things, it might be a mess, right? And you are responsible for the good usage of microwave because you will get the phone from your grandma and asking, um, yeah, something went totally wrong and it's a, it's a mess in the kitchen. <laughs> so, you know, as simple as that. And with all those signs, which usually I was writing handily, and you know what? To that young lady, I told to do the same. 
I asked her to conduct such instruction and passed it on her parents. And you know what? She came to me back and she said, you know what? That was a fantastic exercise. That was interesting for me, but more interesting for my parents because, you know, that is something they need to take and go through and both test and um, entertainment, two in one. And what that showed her is actually that she don't she, she, she doesn't want to go that way. She's okay to move to a totally different direction because even if she liked that so much, that's not what she would like to do for a living. I was using um, this BA mindset in a different, different everyday cases. For argumenting, for example. So see, imagine you have different calls, a lot of information, different people calling you, asking questions, uh, proposing something. And then with all this noise, you need to see the truth and to follow whatever your product is about. How to do that? I was a lot of times asking, guys, thank you very much. But now I'm taking my time to do my BE work. But how that means? I've got this uh, question once, but what are you supposed to do? Just sit, think, and write down it properly. And about writing down properly, documenting is a still key for our organizations. As I mentioned before, so if you don't know what is this product about, how you, are, how you are going to move forward. How, for example, you would like to go to the new technology instead of using C++, right? Uh, and don't laugh, it's still happening. You know, you think that we are in a very modern, uh, technology fast and developing environment, but there are areas where it's not true. And I'm not talking only about the financial environment, right? Because that is kind of mixture, to be sincere. Uh, why I was using this BA knowledge and BA thinking in team, uh, teamwork development, that's all the same. So it's a kind of different mindset, different logic of how to organize the work of the people you're working with. It's all about the logical thinking. It's about hmm, using waterfall agile. I don't care. I want to do this my way. And I can do that. And if you say people... Uh, this is actually good to, to the question about uncertainty and, you know, hiding something. Sometimes it's enough to say that, you know what, I would like to go this way. What do you think about that? And it's at the same time saying that I'm not sure or I'm sure that I want to do this this way. And that's all. That's all. It's, it's balance. But at the same time, it's actually saying both what are your inspirations and feedbacking from the people you're working that is a crucial thing and here i also mentioning ownership mindset um, after some some challenging uh, challenging items i had actions um different um different situations both personal and project management or project ones. I understood that at that point, you suddenly start to think about the value you are bringing, about the really mm, why you are doing that. And, you know, the, the higher you go, but it's not about the hierarchical structure, but leading, right, and understanding the environment, the more you think about Oh, is it a really good direction? And do I want to go the same way? Or oh, I have a totally different opinion. That is the actually the moment to change team or work, organization, whatever. You know, if you are asking those questions about value to yourself before you are going to a higher level, maybe that will help you to go different paths. So as a sum, I would like to 
look to you to you to look at all of those items and understand that that business analysis is about all of those different things and the actual situation in the in our daily lives doesn't change much you see 15 years or oh, decade this decade the sound of it's weird but still you know we are still working with excels can you imagine really that happening at the same time we have you know all those cloud setups uh, kubernetes kafka all all the different technologies aws is azure but at the same time we're still working with excels that's happening or for example you think that communication i am a developer and what what should i do about the communication a lot because that is what is required in the in the modern society you know it's if we are not communicating if we are not making networks why are we even here on the earth by the way because we can just sit at the computers and stick to that and do robots even can do that um chatgpt is is going to you know to help you with the code now and what but you know i was thinking about this chatgpt a lot and what maybe i am brave in saying that but actually the goal means a lot you can you need to ask something specific and what chatgpt can do just analyze whatever you asked so see this mindset is even needed for such easy things like just a simple call for the chat gpt to make a code for you so those are a couple of things i wanted you to maybe think about and see that from the different angle um we can discuss that on the break or i am open to answer your questions right now